Hi, remember in this course on Boolean algebra we were dealing mostly uh, with expressions like this. Say a negated plus a negated b. Yeah, and what we did, we simplified them a lot like this one. We took a negated out of brackets, we had 1 plus b. You know, regular stuff we could uh, as well apply. This is one uh, Carnot map technique on this expression. We also could, might could do that. But uh, the point is that in all these expressions uh, that we were simplifying, these equations, uh, all of them, in all of them, only one. Uh, variable was negated in every term. So you see, a here is negated and a here is negated. Uh, and we never dealt with situations where, for example, the whole expression is negated or some part of expression could be negated. When uh, the whole expression or its part is negated, it's the same as if we took this part in brackets and then negated it. So that's how it looks like. So if we have the expression a plus b c everything negated, it is the same as if we uh, took b c in brackets and then negated it. Yeah, that's this symbol. And uh, it, it doesn't change uh, a lot for you, I should say. We can still simplify this expression. We have this uh, big negation for the whole expression. And then we simplify what we have inside. And we can take a negated out of brackets. And our normal stuff, 1 plus b, which is equal to 1. And then what we get? Uh, we get a negated and negated again. So uh, this negation is this one and this big negation is this one F. but that's probably obvious and uh, as you know if we negate something two times it will be uh, the same thing so it's a I will uh, refresh your knowledge that, for example, if we have 1 negated 2 times, then we apply first negate, we say we apply this uh, negation, that is blue, and then it becomes 0, and we still have the big negation, which say is purple, and then we negate it again, and then we get 1, which is, uh, of course, the same as the original. So that's how we get A. But I think we uh, we dealt with that in the very first videos. So this was really easy, right? We just did the same, only uh, only with negation of the whole expression. Or it could be a part of the expression, it will be the same. But uh, sometimes there are tricky expressions like, like this one. Consider this one A plus b negated. And, well, it's not obvious from the first view uh, what the hell is that and how to how to make it simpler, or is it possible to make it simpler, or can we turn it into the form where we don't have negation of the whole, of the whole expression. And so, uh, let's, let's just... Uh, it's possible, but we need to apply some rule. But first, uh, let's uh, create a truth table for that, just to see w what the hell is this expression, what is it, what is going to give us. So we have two variables, a and b, and case is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And we can calculate. Uh, so we have one big negation, and inside we have a plus b, which is 
zero. So it will be zero plus zero and everything negated, which will be zero negated. Let's make it slow, which is one. Then uh, next one, zero, one. We have zero plus one inside the big negation. That means we have one. Zero plus one is one inside negation, which is equals to zero. Then uh, the same one plus zero, which is one negated, equals again to zero. And last one, one plus one negated is one negated, and it is also zero. So we got the result. I will oops, highlight the result. It's one. Does it look like one? Zero. 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 Uh, and next step will be not obvious, but. Uh, Consider this expression. A negated multiplied by B negated. And what uh, I would propose is to create a truth table for this one. Just to see. Because maybe this truth table should resemble you something. Maybe not. But let's see. For the same cases, 0, 0, it will be 0 negated multiplied by 0 negated will be 1 multiplied by 1 will be 1. Then, uh, this is normal expression, right? We don't have a uh, negation over more than one variable at a time. So it should be easy. Then, 0 negated multiplied by 1 negated which will be uh, 1 multiplied by 0, which is 0, then the same but in different order, which is 0 by 1 equals 0, and last one, 1 negated multiplied by 1 negated will be both zeros and 0. And you know what? You see? We get the same, the same results for these two expressions. And you know what? Uh, you know that it means that they are equal. And let's write it down. A plus B, the whole expression negated, is equal to A multiplied by B where each variable is negated. And this we should remember as a rule, because uh, it's when you simplify something, it's not obvious from the first class that these two expressions equal. But that will help you uh, to solve a lot of expressions where you have negation over uh, some part of the expression, or the whole expression. And this one, Called, is called De Morgan's theorem. Like this. De Morgan's, some, some guy, theorem. Yep. And uh, this could be generalized a bit. Uh, like this. In general, a plus b plus c plus some kind of, let's say, z, and all negated will always equal to a negated, uh, sorry, multiplied by b negated multiplied by C negated multiplied by so and so on, C negated. 
if uh, if it uh, looks like fun for you, you can uh, uh, try to prove that these two are uh, equivalent to each other, and this is actually uh, very easy to do. You just can start with a plus b plus c and try to simplify that. Yes, uh, and the other case of De Morgan's theorem is this one. Uh, we have a plus b all negated, but what about I will erase this part of our whiteboard. Uh, what about this one? A nice A nice B uh, negated when they are both negated. Obviously, it's not the same case as this one. No, it's not the same case because here you see that they are negated separately. And here they are negated together as in this expression, as if they had the brackets together. And we can also create a truth table for that. So we can spare some time and do that. I want to show you. Again, we have two variables a, b, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Uh, so it will be. 0 multiplied by 0, which is 0, and negated is 1. Ah, it doesn't look like 1. This looks like 1. Uh, then 0 multiplied by 1 is 0. Negated is 1. Then next one is the same. 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. Negated will be 1 then 1 by 1 negated is 0. And now uh, consider uh, this expression. a negated plus b negated. And let's uh, calculate what's that. It will be 0 negated is obviously 1 plus 0 negated is 1. Uh, then 0 negated is 1 plus something is also 1. Then uh, 1 negated is 0 plus 0 negated is 1. In the last case, 1, 1, 1 negated 0, 1 negated again 0. And we have 0. And so we can say that these two are also equal to each other. And let's uh, write it down as well. A, B negated is always for all variables equal to A negated plus B. And we can as well remember this as a rule and it is also called uh, De Morgan's theorem, just another case of it. Uh, and I will put it right here. So and you also also you can generalize it and say that uh, a multiplied by b multiplied by c multiplied by something something and then some other variables for any a number of variables which are all multiplied and negated once as a whole expression a will equal to the same variables, but negated each one of them, and uh, summed like this, plus c negated, plus something plus set negated. So it's uh, also the generalized De Morgan's theorem, or oh, maybe it's this one called De Morgan's theorem, but the, the point is the same. These, all these expressions could be called uh, De Morgan's theorems. Or is it one theorem? Actually, I don't know. It's uh, how I was taught and how I see on the internet. All these are called De Morgan's theorem. 
and next we will try to apply these rules and see how they work on some expressions.